the second half of Wrath of Man is honestly just jaw dropping. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic, I hope you're doing well. In this video we are going to be hearing Wrath of Man which is an action thriller heist movie based on the French film Cash Trucks and Wrath of Man is directed by Guy Ritchie. Now it does have a little bit of a slow start but it more than makes up for it with an action packed second half with plenty of twists and turns in that movie as well and also I really like how it balances having really big spectacle action sequences with a really great family heart driven narrative at its core as well which makes it really really cool and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. <laughs> The film is split into four chapters which gives it a really really good structure and it starts off with the H character joining an armoured truck delivery company who carry large sums of cash and the trucks often get ambushed by experienced robbers however whenever H is in the truck he is always able to stop the robbers in a really really impressive way. One day the robbers plan their biggest heist yet which is on Black Friday and the film then explores A if they're going to be able to get away with it, B which characters if any are going to survive this, C is there a mole within the truck company that is telling the robbers all of the insider secrets and D what is the mysterious background of the H character, why is he so good in combat and what is his real motive for stopping all of these characters. Now from a positive point of view like I said, this movie has plenty of twists and turns which really are really, really exciting, especially in the second half of this movie and all of the action sequences are really, really great as well. Like I said before, especially the final one in this movie, the last 20 minutes especially of this film are absolutely awesome as it balances massive action sequences with really cool heist aspects really, really well. And like I said before as well, it's structured really well as it's split into four parts, which is really easy to digest. However, from a negative point of view, I would say the first half of this movie is unfortunately really confusing and a little bit mediocre as well. Also, it hasn't really got anything that you haven't seen before, especially in the first half. The latter half, like I said before, is really, really cool, but in the first half, it does borrow from other things that you have seen before. And also from those action sequences in the first half, they really could have pushed them a lot further. But you know, all in all, I would say the second half definitely makes up for it which means from a storyline point of view on balance, this movie is really, really strong. The cast and characters of Wrath of Man do a really, really good job. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, we have Jason Stratton, who plays the character called H. He's a bit of an action hero star in this film. That said, I would say he's less of a traditional superhero main protagonist and is more of an anti-hero mercenary type figure in this film, he's incredibly logical and very, very calm and is very no-nonsense and steely at the same time and he definitely embodies the three S's in terms of shooting, scheming and swearing and you definitely feel the wrath of this character. However, it's not done in an over-the-top shouty way and is done in more of a lethal, cunning way which is really, really great for this character. Next up, we have Holt McCannelly who is playing a character called Bullet and he is the main leader for all of the drivers in this film. Next up we have Scott Eastwood who is playing the main villain in this film and he is the leader of the robbers and we also have Laz Alonso that is another robber and it's really interesting to see this character being more of a villain as obviously we know him for being a bit of an anti-hero himself in The Boys on Amazon Prime. But you know all in all, all of the cast and characters in Wrath of Man are really really great. <laughs> When it comes to the visuals of Wrath of Man, I'd say I'm a little bit mixed with this area as on the one hand, they are really, really awesome in the second half of this movie. They're really explosive, really, really clever and really enjoyable to watch. However, in the first half, they are a little bit mundane and a little bit uninspiring as like I said before, they do borrow from things that you have seen a hundred times before in other action movies. But you know, all in all, the visuals are really impressive, especially because the second half really does make up for the first half. <laughs> In terms of comparison, they have got similar thoughts with Wrath of Man, as on the one hand, it is a lot stronger than Ava, Extraction, SAS Red Notice, and Honest Thief. However, on the other hand, it's not as good as the most recently released Nobody, The Gentleman, or the Oceans franchise as well, especially from a heist point of view. And so from a comparison point of view, you know, it is really solid 
from an action point of view, but definitely could have been so much stronger. So overall, I would say with Wrath of Man, you know, it definitely does have a bit of a slow start and some pacing issues in this movie. But like I said, the second half is really, really cool, really adrenaline fueled and action packed and really does demand and command your attention, which makes it really, really cool. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.